Hi, Cyrus Roos here, back on and Zero Dimensions new game minus, 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 or minus four video, episode 10. Yeah, we're up to 10 episodes already, and it looks like I have E53 antimatter. It's enough to get five galaxy points, which is enough to get this upgrade here. So, this upgrade is definitely um, good. The thing is that, like, it's based on time since last galactic sacrifice so that means it gets faster the farther i am in the galactic or like the more time it's been in the galactic sacrifice which sort of is annoying it's annoying because that means for the best results you're gonna have to wait and it's just something i have to deal with it's it's gonna be a big multiplier it's this, this is a huge i feel like this was nerfed from New game minus minus or new game minus minus minus, but like in those games, like this was such a huge multiplier until I got this upgrade, which is essentially normal. Which back then it was, no, or uh, the, in those mods it was normal dimensions gain a multiplier based on galaxy points. Now it's normal and time dimensions. Um, yeah, it's, it's like roughly same deal. Like I don't know why I'm going so into detail about that, but, but, but yeah. It's, this, this multiplier is huge. It's actually really nice that it does apply to time dimensions because this will act, this will speed up just everything. Like, like it's going to allow me, like, a two times multiplier to time dimension, to, like, the time dimensions may give me, like, ten tick speed upgrades at just four time dimensions. And that's going to, and that speeds up normal dimensions even more. So it's, it's like I already have a galaxy. So look, look at this. Fourth time dimension shift, super easy. I barely, I barely needed to do anything, but it's gonna be even faster once I get a galaxy. So I'm just gonna wait until then. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I have a galaxy. I also this multiplier is up to over 12 times. Even with dilation nerfs, this is like an effective five times multiplier to normal and time dimensions. Like you're gonna see, just with this, it's already. About five times more than usual and this is gonna make this so fast like it this is unbelievable for new game minus four this is unbelievable because like this is the slowest part just like getting all this I'm, st I'm still getting a hundred percent on the first dimension and like just with fourth dimensions it gets up to 140 percent I can probably already I'm already close to the time dimension shift. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm right there. And this is the, that's, that's the slowest run, like by far, because this run is just the previous run, but buffed and I don't need to get as far. So I get this, this, and I'll just press the, um, the T key to get the tick speed upgrades. And there is the dimension shift. It probably took like 20 seconds to get, so, yeah, that's crazy, but it's going to it's going to get even crazier as I start racking up dimension boosts. So, like this is this is with the um fifth dimension or this is just fourth dimensions and look at this another dimension boost just like that and again get these time dimensions. Honestly, I think at this point it's better to just do the key spamming strategy instead of the Instead of the previous one, where I instead of actually clicking, where I'm, I'm essentially just spamming the keys one through eight in T. That's all I'm doing, and I, I'm getting like 250% on each dimension, and boom, sixth dimension already. And let's go back to the key spamming strategy. Um. In the beginning, I, I, I may be a little bit more cautious, but once I once I get third dimensions, it, it just takes off. Because, yeah, it just takes off. Also, if the key spamming is really loud, um, it's because um, the keyboard is very close to the microphone. So, yeah, that's... Maybe, maybe I should move my microphone closer to my face instead of the keyboard. But whatever, I'm now already to the point where I can get one galaxy points, except I'm going to go further than that, of, of course. Like, wh why not? It's going so fast that, that it's just going to 
it's pointless to just get one galaxy point. Even if it seems fast, like at the beginning, it says zero galaxy points per minute. I think once I start getting more galaxy points, it may actually go up. It's like I would say it's probably it would be like, like three galaxy points per hour. So yeah, and sometimes this keyboard is, is not very responsive when I'm just spamming it. So maybe I can just slow down the spamming a little bit. But here it is, eighth dimensions. I should probably start going for um, time dimension boosts now since I since I have five dimension boosts. That that's where I start going for the time dimension boost. Um, so let, let's let's see what percentages I can get. I'm already up to almost 300 percent. And once I that was like 340 percent, it's probably going to be even better. This run again about 340 percent. And seventh dimension. Let's see. Uh, I think I, I caught like 380, 390 percent, and maybe with eighth dimensions, can I reach 500 percent? Actually, I don't. I don't even need eighth dimensions. All I need is just enough time dimensions. Like I, I went way overboard. I did not need to go that far, but I did anyway. And honestly, I can just, I can just do this in the beginning while just waiting for the time dimensions, so I can, you know, get one of the, um, of the last time dimension. And that will actually probably speed things up a little bit. So, I, 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 I um, yeah, there, there's not really much to talk about here, but it's just exciting to see New Game Minus 4 go so fast. It's crazy that it's taking like 30 seconds for every like reset run. Like, even now, it's fast. Even at this point, getting up to 20 8th dimensions. Like, maybe I can start. Being like less like keyboard spam, but still I I'm it's still just fast enough that I'm gonna easily reach twenty eighth dimensions to allow me to do to do another dimension boost. And now I'm gonna go for a time dimension shift, and here is the time dimension shift. And you can see I peaked at one at zero point one galaxy points per minute. So that means. Uh, yeah, you can just see how much faster Like it's I've only been in this galactic sacrifice for 45 minutes and a lot of that w wasn't even active so You know now with the seventh time dimension this is gonna be even more overpowered just because I'm gonna get more tick speed upgrades and Yeah, that's just overpowered that, I think I saw 700 percent Per second over a second. Can I get higher now? Um, no, I only saw 550%, but that's that's still fast. And yeah, this this is ridiculous. Like you, like I think even the grind to 30 eighth dimensions will be pretty fast. Like for for what it is, it's it'll be pretty fast because also while I'm just waiting for the dimensional sacrifice, I I can just keep getting more time dimensions. This is this is it's only like here where I start to slow down. And I slow down just only a little bit. Like I'm, like I'm now probably about ten hexadecimal orders of magnitude away from thirty eighth dimensions. And all all I need is just to get thirty eighth dimensions. I'm gonna go. I'll get a dimension boost, which means it, which means it's gonna be even faster than before. And then I just have to get a time dimension boost after that. Again, it's, it's just gonna be even faster than. It was before, and then 30th dimensions, and I get another galaxy upgrade. Where the galaxies will be two times stronger, reduce the cost by 20 less, um, except the first, and decrease the cost multiplier to, to 30, which is confusing. It may make it so that possibly, I'm just thinking, possibly the second galaxy could be 28th dimensions, which could revolutionize. Um, like the how I get galaxy points and I would definitely need a revolution because getting to 20 galaxy points would be very tricky and the the double strength of galaxies is not really going to cut it the galaxies themselves are very weak but remember um, that the galaxy points is like a product of your galaxies with some other things so all of a sudden that doesn't sound as bad because I'll be getting double galaxy points and the galaxies still do something, it's just not very strong. So, now I'm just three hexadecimal orders of magnitude away from um, the 38th dimensions. So I'm just gonna wait this out, see in a bit.
Okay, I'm coming up on the last run here, and this is going to be insane. Um, time dimension, shift number seven, and yeah, this is just going to... This is gonna be insane. Once I start spamming the keyboard, I'm probably gonna see like a thousand percent. I'm, I'm probably almost at a thousand percent already, and like I'm just seeing seven hundred percent like over and over again. Just getting with, with getting these time dimensions, and that was five hundred. Can I get more with the eighth dimension? I saw nine hundred percent second of a second, which is yeah. This this is this is ludicrous. It's really like I'm already to twenty. Eighth dimensions in just like I don't know 20 seconds. That, that's what I think it was. So just all all of these boosts are really gonna help. And I know I am a little nervous about the 20 galaxy points, but I think that's where Tixby boosts might come in handy. I, I'm I'm not gonna go for Tixby boosts yet, but eventually Tixby boosts will become very useful. Tixby boost can be quite annoying. There's also actually, if I do get two galaxies, um, I do get this achievement where upon a tick speed boost, your dimension boost and time dimension boosts don't reset unless you have more tick speed boosts than five times your antimatter galaxies minus eight, which is really confusing. You also start with three time dimension boosts, but the your it's it's like this reward except it's even more confusing because it's like you're you're Okay, upon a tick speed boost, your dimension boosts and time dimension boosts are not going to reset. Um, but if I have more than... Okay, like if I had like two galaxies and I, I, I had, let's say, yeah, two galaxies, it would be five times... Um, unless you have more than five times two minus eight. So that means unless you have like more than two tick speed boosts. So that means I think the first two would be free. Because remember, a tick speed boost would reset the um, dimension boosts and time dimension boosts. So, and yeah, I'm right now dimensional sacrificing, and I'm making use of, of some time dimensions I can get while I'm waiting. Maybe this is, was not the best time to sacrifice, but oh well, it's... I'm just... yeah, it, it wasn't the best time, but whatever. I, I think... Th th I'm gonna get this upgrade next episode because it's going to be pretty exciting to see what see what crazy things are going to happen once I do get this upgrade. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.